reduction to percentages. Percent means for every hundred per, if I said I will bring five lollies per student, that would be five lollies for every student. And cent, like century, means a hundred. So any percentage is actually just an equivalent fraction out of a hundred. And a percentage is a fraction of a total. So it will kind of help to work. And now, now all we're doing here is just an introduction to the idea of a percentage. It kind of helps to realize that any percentage situation will be an amount out of a total and we want to write it as an equivalent fraction of whatever the percentage is out of a hundred. So we learnt equivalent fractions. So for example, one out of two. I ate one piece out of the two pieces of pizza that were available. What is that? out of a hundred. Whatever it is out of a hundred as an equivalent fraction is the percentage. And the equivalent fraction, how did I get from two to a hundred? I times by fifty. Times fifty there. So this will be fifty out of a hundred. It's fifty percent, which means a half is fifty percent. And we knew that. So any percentage is just an amount out of a total but we've written it as an equivalent fraction out of 100. So if I ate six biscuits out of a pack of 10, what percentage did I eat? Amount out of total. Six out of 10. And what would that be out of 100 as an equivalent fraction? Well, 10 times 10 would be 100. So six times 10 means that's an equivalent fraction of 60 out of 100 and any percentage is just a fraction out of 100 that's 60 percent of the pack of biscuits because every percentage is a percentage of a total or a fraction of a total so if we're asked to change fractions to percentages we just need a fraction out of 100, and that's a percentage. So 27 out of 100 is just 27%, because it's out of 100, so it's a percentage. Because a percentage is for every 100, or out of 100. It's just a fraction out of 100. 10 out of 50. I need it to be out of 100. How do I get 50 to be 100 times by 2? So I'm doing the same thing here. 10 out of 50 is the same as 20 out of 100. And now that it's out of 100, that's 20%. So all that a percentage ever is, is writing a fraction as an equivalent fraction out of 100. So if I needed to change a percentage to a fraction, 25% means 25 out of 100. And then I can use my fraction simplifier on the calculator to do 20 out of 100. That's one-fifth. And we know that 50% is 50 out of 100 which is a half. So that's just a really small introduction to the idea of a percentage. It's always an amount out of a total and we're changing it to an equivalent fraction of the percentage out of 100. And if you've got a fraction out of 100, that's the same as a percentage.